My parents came from uh, Belfast, Northern Ireland. From Belfast, you probably have a good idea that they probably drank a bit. They probably drank a bit too much. And because of that, I uh, didn't have much interaction with my parents. They were too drunk to really direct me in any way in my life, and I really had nowhere to turn. When I was about 11 years old, we went back to Belfast to meet family that we hadn't seen, I'd never seen. I thought it was a great vacation, but when I got there, I heard that my dad had told my mom that we were going to be living in Belfast and not coming back to Canada. Well, that didn't go over well during that vacation, and in turn, my mom said, no, we're coming back home to Montreal. Right after we got back to Montreal, my parents separated. My dad wasn't around a lot. He uh, was off with uh, someone else, as I found out later on in life. But what was good was that um, I could be close to my mother at that time. She was hurt because my dad wasn't around. And so I was the man of the house at that time. But I didn't have anybody to look up to. I did play soccer when I was young, was very good, but was never told that I was good. Other friends did, but not my parents. What happened after that is that I really didn't have any direction, as I said before. When I started going to high school, you get into the wrong crowd or you get into a crowd and you just don't do the right things. I started drinking when I was younger. I didn't drink a lot because the next morning I would have hangovers and I couldn't handle that. So what happened was instead of drinking, I went to drugs. I started smoking pot, I snorted mescaline and cocaine, and my life was a wreck. I graduated from high school in 75. I never went to dances because it just wasn't what I would do because I couldn't get there. I was just too wasted. But in 75, in September, I went and to a dance and I, I met a girl. She used to go to a church or she went to a church. That wasn't my thing. I had uh, been sort of like shown a little bit of what church was at a United Church, but there was nothing about Jesus in it. But this church was a little bit different. She wouldn't uh, drag me to the church, she just invited me. It was quite cool, actually. It was kind of interesting. And then one time she invited me to a movie. Uh, the movie was called A Thief in the Night. To me, it was kind of a, a scary movie. Their pastor at that time came up to me and asked me if I... what I thought about the movie. And I thought, well, it's a great movie. And he said, uh, so you like the, the idea of uh, Jesus coming and, and, and bringing people to heaven? And I said, absolutely. That's he says, well, if your girlfriend, uh, do you think she's going to heaven? And I said, well, absolutely. He says, you're right. And he says, what about you, son? And I said, well, yeah, I'm going to heaven. And he said, no, you're not. It frightened me to the bottom of my feet. I asked him what he meant by that. He shared with me John 14, 6, which is Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That was extremely challenging to me as I really didn't have anybody that I wanted to trust at that time. But I, I looked at him and I looked at the girl at that time and felt there's got to be something to this. And so for a while, and not that long a while, I kept on asking him questions. And after probably a few days with some Bible studies with him, I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior. One of the things that excited me about this newfound faith that I had was having uh, a relationship with a father. I had no father at the time um, who was a real father. But when I accepted Jesus and then understood what he was, who he was, and who his father was, I wanted it. I wanted all of that. I loved him then and I love him now. 
Fast forward to today, I married that girl. We've been married 34 years in June. I have one son who's going to be 26. I know we can't say that life is like heaven on earth. Of course, we have our ups and downs. We have our struggles in our Christian faith. But if heaven is going to be better than this, I can't wait to get there. My name is Wayne McAllister, and I am second.